you've seen the thumbnail we are making our very own death eater mask and of course we're doing this in a way where i don't know what i'm doing all right you've seen the thumbnail i just you know i wing them i don't know what it looks like i don't know what it's going to look like this is what i'm starting with that's it right originally i wanted to do something else to end the halloween series but unfortunately Something that I needed for it hasn't arrived, so I had to come up with a plan B. So thank you to my wonderful husband, Matt. He came up with this idea. He was like, make your own Death Eater mask. I was like, yeah, we're doing this. But then also, hang on. That's better. Also, me being me, I wanted to do something extra. I didn't just want to make a Death Eater mask. So obviously I've got a canvas board and then, yeah, the plan is to have this on here. You know, like the Noble Collection where you can get the Bellatrix mask and it's on there, but you can take it off to wear it. Do you know what I mean? I, I know what I'm talking about. And then at the bottom, we're going to have a plaque saying Potter Poppet because this is Potter Poppet's Death Eater mask. Yes! I just don't know how long I'm going to be doing this. Seriously, it's going to take me all day, I think, because I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. I've just, literally, my workspace is just crammed with different things. And I'm just going to play about and have a go at this. But I thought it'd be a great idea to make my own Death Eater mask. Because, yeah, it'd be cool to make a replica. But imagine, like, I was thinking, what would Susie wear if I was, you know, if I was a Death Eater? What, was, what would Suvi, Suvi, Susie wear as a Death Eater mask? I, not that I'm, I'm not turning to the dark side. I'm not a Death Eater, by the way. But yeah, it's all, it's always fun getting creative, making your own style of something. And I thought I might be able to inspire some of you guys to do something like this too. So yeah, if you want to see how I make this Death Eater mask with its lovely stand or plaque, um, what do we call this? Then keep on watching. And if this is the first time you see my face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you love anything to do with Harry Potter, this is the place for you. Hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you. Massive thank you to these guys. These guys are my Patreons. They help me keep this channel running. They help me be able to do things like this. They help me, the money goes back into the channel and I'm able to create things and it really, really helps. But if you'd like to know anything about Patreon, it is linked in the description of this video along with my social medias. Go see what I'm up to on those. Thank you, Patreons. I love you. Okay, so I have kind of like a plan. Don't laugh at my drawing. But I quickly drew this out. Please have in mind, if you have watched my other DIYs, you know it's going to look nothing like I have drawn. But first things first, I want to get this drawn. I want to get this drawn first. And the first thing we're going to do with it is we're going to paint this whole canvas black. There's just a little bit here that's still a bit wet, but it's fine. We're not going to touch that bit yet. With a sponge and some silver paint, I want to kind of give it an effect just in the corners, but you'll see what I'm doing. I didn't just want it plain black. Obviously, this is my own design, and I have been thinking, how would I have mine displayed? Um, so, yeah, just watch what I do now. Not going to lie, I still don't exactly know what I'm doing myself, but just go with it, yeah? I've got myself a bit look let me show you let me show you look so obviously this it's sideways but this will be on there obviously that's going to be painted as well what I want to do now quickly is I want to sort of plaque out for the bottom so I have got some wooden letters that spell potter pop it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise those letters off here 
using some foam. I'm just going to cut out what I need. I'm going to double it up and just make a foam plaque glue both the pieces together, stick it on there and then I will have to paint that black as well. Um, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I have worked with these letters so much in DIYs, right? And today was the day that I found out that they're actually self-adhesive. The backs peel off and they stick. So yeah, I found that out today. So what I need to do now is just double it up with the other one and obviously cut out to the size I want and then I need to just hot glue it to the canvas or I'll hot glue the pieces together, hot glue it to the canvas and then I've got my little name obviously, plaque thing, whatever you wanna call it. But yeah, this is looking cool. Okay, I need to quickly just cover, my is still a bit wet. Um, I'm just going to cover all this black quickly just to blend it in because it looks a bit out of place. I have got it slightly off centre, I know. All right, my tripod was in the way. I'm blaming the tripod. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So yeah, let's get this blended in. Right, what I want to do is I need to make them lettuce pot. So, I have a different brush here somewhere. Do I brush, I don't know if to brush silver or sponge it? I might sponge it. We're gonna sponge, where's my sponge, there is. We're gonna sponge silver on the lettering. from sort of this angle it kind of looks like Tom Riddle's diary it feels it's giving me Tom Riddle's diary feels but it says part of it down here so yeah what I want to do now guys is I don't well I think I want to do this I have got these things you might remember these from when I made the cursed April necklace I literally just have a couple left over and I thought do you know what what do we think about putting them in the corners just to give it a bit of bling maybe but I could put these on, use them as like little corner pieces. Hmm, I'll have a think. No, I've decided against it, I've decided against it because I don't want too much focus on this itself. Obviously the main focus is the mask and that's gonna look pretty cool on there like that once the mask is made. So now this is finished. I can move this out the way and we can begin on the mask. So the first thing I want to do with the mask is I want to add some detail to it. Now, this is where I have got so much stuff, it's unbelievable. So I have got these things, I thought we could maybe stick these on. I've got some different ones here as well, so I'm going to have a little look and a play about. Um, if I decide against these or think it needs something extra I might cut some shapes out of foam and glue it to this itself but I'm just gonna have a little think and a little play about and I'll see what I come up with right I've had a play about now if you I can't remember whose Death Eater mask it is but they have these going over their mouth and I quite like that so I'm going to do that and I think I'm going to put this whole thing on here they're not going to be purple I'm painting over them but it was the design that I liked so I think this is what I'm going to do these are self adhesive these are actually from Tesco uh, they're in the Halloween section at the minute the foam I got from Hobbycraft the mask I got from Hobbycraft the canvas was from oh my days what's it called I think the canvas was from the works I can't remember, I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere, guys. Um, but canvases, obviously, you can pick them up in any, in any hobby place. Even some supermarkets do canvases if they have a good sort of craft section in them. But yeah, the mask was from Hobbycraft Foam. You can get that even from, uh, well, any hobby store. But yeah, these were from Tesco. 
um, but I know you can get things like this online they're not just for Halloween um, but they are pretty cool they are pretty cool but yeah this is what we're gonna do so obviously yes they're self adhesive so I'll get them stuck on where I want them and these I'm gonna have to hot glue to the mouth And what I want to do now is I'm going to paint the whole thing black, everything, everything black on here. So it's going to look a lot different even with just the black on, but there is still detail I even want to put on after I finish painting, but it's not going to be black. We do, I, I do, sorry, I do want silver on it, but I didn't want it to be just silver. I wanted it to be a dark so I'm going to paint it black and then sponge silver on it like I did the canvas but obviously sponge it all over um, but I don't know as well once I've done the black I don't know if to sponge a bit of green on it as well so that there will be black and green under the silver but I'll figure it out and see what it looks like when I've painted it black. better photos of it um, at the end like I do all my DIYs but what I want to do now I've had a change change of plan in my mind oh you really can't see it now um yeah hang on there you go you can see it now <laughs> what I want to do I've had a change of heart with this thing change of plan so I'm gonna pop make all these bits pop out by putting sponging silver on them I will catch this and I'm not too fussed about catching this but I just want to I don't want to sponge the whole thing silver now I actually just want to sponge these bits um, and then on these when they've done them silver these little green gems I thought would look quite cool I don't know if they're too big actually uh, I'll see what it looks like when it's painted silver. But yeah, we'll get to the we'll cross that bridge when we'll get to it, Susie. Stop getting ahead of yourself. Let's sponge these bits silver. It's just with some black paint I'm just gonna go over because I didn't mind catching silver on the mask but in some areas I've just caught it a little bit too much so I'm just gonna go tidy up around the mask and then I will be back with you once everything's dry it's all dry this looks so cool I really really like this now what I'm gonna do just off camera because it's gonna be really fiddly and I'll probably swear a lot I am gonna get and I'm gonna burn my fingers because these are tiny I'm gonna hot glue some green gems I am gonna do it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them obviously one there one there one there one there one there and one there just so it's like it looks like it's sort of bolted in that's the plan 
Um, and then, yeah, in a second you're going to see photos of it and then I'll speak to you at the end. it's so cool the only thing is guys look what look I'm, I'm an idiot I'm an idiot so sorry so obviously this is what it's like on the thing the back in with my name at the bottom there look looks cool and everything I need to figure out a way <laughs> to hang it on there I completely forgot about that bit it's fine we'll figure it out but that's gonna look really cool hung on my wall I know that I know that I do like that and it's wearable, it's wearable. I can go scare people. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really chuffed with this. I like it. I've always wanted a deaf eater mask. This will do for now until I can afford one. But no, it just shows you you can do things. Ooh. You can make things at home. It didn't cost an awful lot to do. A canvas you can pick up. It depends where you get canvases from. Um obviously i just used foam i mean these foam sheets they were only 50p each um wooden letters uh, i think they're a five pound a bag but you get so many letters in them that you can you know use them again and again and they are the ones i've got are self-adhesive so i learned something new today but yeah i really love this this is this is the death eater mask this is what i would look like as a death eater guys this is me as a death eater have any of you guys ever made a death eater mask before you know what i'm gonna say show me pictures go send me pictures on my social medias go message me with a photo of your creations i love it when you do i love seeing your creations it's so much fun to see them all but have you made these what do you think to mine let me know in the comments let me know in the comments did i do good but have you enjoyed my halloween series i've really enjoyed this uh, the thing that I was meant to make that obviously hasn't arrived, like everything hasn't arrived to make it, don't fear, I'm still going to do the DIY when it's here. Um, I'll sort it, don't worry, and I'll let you know which, which one it was. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, guys, and please give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it helps me more than you know. And I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Pots Puppets.